So today's video, we're talking about IOTA. Just what is IOTA? It's a fairly quick and easy summary to just help you understand this altcoin that has been absolutely beasting it these past few weeks. <laughs> Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with Crypto Pigs. First, let me say thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Well, let's get started. So what is IOTA? IOTA is a transaction settlement and data transfer layer for the Internet of Things that is based on the distributed ledger called Tangled, which overcomes the inefficiencies of the current blockchain designs. A huge selling point is through IOTA, people can transfer money without any fees. So what makes IOTA different from the blockchain that Bitcoin and Ethereum use? First, we have scalability. Bitcoin has already seen consequences of a protocol that is inherently limited. At this time of this post, there's more than 50,000 unconfirmed transactions, meaning that a majority of use cases just cannot be executed. If you're a larger company or even individuals, you do not want to wait you don't want to pay a higher fee. And you don't want to get beat with the uncertainty of not getting your transaction through. With Tangled, IOTA is able to achieve high transaction throughput. As the Tangle grows and more participants make transactions, the overall system becomes more secure and faster. Next, we have transaction fees. The biggest issue next to scalability is Bitcoin's transaction fees. Bitcoin's mean transaction fee has already hit over $1. So who's going to pay the huge fees? especially when it comes to micropayments, rendering many use cases useless. With IOTA, it's, it's pretty simple. IOTA has no transaction fee. There's no miners to pay, which leads us to our next point, decentralization. So some can argue that Bitcoin has somewhat centralized control. If you look at the data, six mining pools account for over 79% of the mine blocks over the past four days. Having six pools controlling over 75% of the network makes political centralization a real danger. With IOTA, there's no separate mining. If you have a transaction, you validate two transactions. So by taking part in the network, you speed it up. As a result, each user can be viewed as an independent miner. So what about IOTA's use cases? IOTA's main features include fee-less micropayments, secure data transfer, and data anchoring. But the primary focus is the Internet of Things, with a focus in smart cities, infrastructure and smart grid, supply chain, transportation and mobility. Also, it can be used for the backbone for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Now, what about IOTA's supply? We got 2.7 billion circulating, 2.7 total, 7.7 .7 billion market cap, 1 billion volume and now this is where it gets crazy and i'm sure you're kicking yourself if you saw it this at this price november 4th iota was 37 cents one month later today iota was two dollars and 83 cents when i made this video that is huge gains i expected it around one dollar 50 cents to retrace that's what's been doing but they did get some big news some big partners accenture was actually one of them I mean, that's obviously driving the price. I didn't jump in because I thought this coin was such a long-term coin, 2000, end of 2018, 2019. Looks like it's pushing hard now, and I don't know if it's going to retrace. So I hope you enjoyed my video on IOTA. Super quick summary. Just give you the the gist. This I'm, I plan on doing a PTMGS analysis on this. So if you have any questions, feel free to come to my Discord or just message me directly. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.